the top eight foods to dissolve blood clots naturally. Your body naturally makes blood clots every day to protect your blood vessels from damage. Sometimes however, these clots don't dissolve properly and they may get stuck or wedged in your arteries or veins. This is very dangerous because it can stop blood flowing to and from your heart, resulting in a heart attack a stroke if the clot's near your brain, or an embolism where a clot breaks off and gets stuck in your lungs. Sitting for too long, being overweight, pregnant, taking birth control, or eating too many inflammatory foods can all increase your risk of blood clots. Fortunately however, there are certain vitamins, minerals and foods which help your body to naturally dissolve blood clots, and these will be the topic of today's video. Just a friendly reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor before using any natural remedies. Let's get started with the first food on the list, which is cloves. Eating just one to two cloves per day can help to prevent platelets in your blood clumping together and forming dangerous clots. Cloves are small dried flower buds, which are used as a spice and a natural medicine in many different cultures. What's special about them is that they contain a powerful compound called eugenol, which has five times the antioxidant power of vitamin E, helping to prevent oxidative damage in your arteries and veins, and also improve circulation to help dissolve the clots. As a side note, you can also get a good amount of eugenol by eating basil leaves. I like to toss these onto the top of a stir fry after turning off the heat. Food number two is kiwis. Kiwis are delicious green fruits which contain proteolytic enzymes called actinidin. When you eat this, it helps to break down proteins in your body that shouldn't be there, such as fibrin around harmful blood clots. Kiwi is also a good source of vitamin E, an antioxidant which supports your heart and the cardiovascular system. Eating just two to three kiwis per week can help to prevent dangerous blood clots forming and also help your body to digest meat, fish and protein. Food number three is extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is a key part of the Mediterranean diet and it's well known for lowering the risk of heart disease. This oil is rich in polyphenols, oleic acid and vitamin E, all of which help to strengthen your blood vessels. They do this by improving endothelial function and reducing oxidative damage. Consuming just one to two tablespoons of this per day raw and drizzled over your salad is a fantastic way to help dissolve dangerous blood clots. If you're finding this information helpful so far, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest nutrition tips. Coming back now to food number four, which is pineapple. In some cultures, mashed pineapples are placed around meat in order to tenderize it and make it easier to chew and cook. This is because, like kiwi, pineapple contains proteolytic enzymes called bromelain, which help to break down protein. Studies show that bromelain from pineapple can also help to dissolve the tough fibrous tissue around blood clots. So start eating a serving of pineapple once or twice per week to reap these benefits. Food number five is paprika. Paprika is a spice made from dried peppers and therefore contains concentrated amounts of salicylates. Salicylates act like a natural blood thinner, helping to prevent platelets from clumping together and forming harmful clots. Heat doesn't destroy these, so feel free to add paprika into your cook dishes like stir fries, soups, stews or the classic goulash. You can also get healthy doses of salicylates by eating cherries, blueberries and strawberries. Number six is the all-important avocado. If you have fluid retention in your body, a swollen face, swollen legs or feet, you are likely to be at a higher risk of developing blood clots and deep vein thrombosis. The extra fluid in your body is putting pressure on your veins and your arteries, causing bleeding, clotting and platelet activation. The best way to flush out this extra fluid is by consuming foods that are rich in potassium and magnesium. As it happens, avocados are actually some of the richest natural sources of these. They also provide vitamin E, phytosterols and oleic acid, 
all of which can help to dissolve harmful blood clots in the body. You can also get a good amount of potassium and magnesium from eating leafy greens, brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage, broccoli, salmon and pumpkin seeds. Food number 7 to help dissolve blood clots is sardines. Out of all of the different types of protein that you could eat, sardines are some of the healthiest. These small fish are rich in EPA and DHA, two essential omega-3 fats which lower inflammation in the arteries and the heart. Eating these fresh or canned can help to control your blood pressure, relax the artery walls and improve blood flow around the body in order to reduce the risk of stroke, thrombosis, heart attack or pulmonary embolism. And we also have number 8 which is capers. Quercetin is a yellow coloured pigment found in many different foods like onions, grapes, cherries and citrus fruits. This is a phytonutrient which blocks something called thromboxane A2 in the body and this essentially reduces the risk of dangerous blood clots from forming. Capers are some of the richest sources of quercetin in the world and they're often used in Mediterranean cuisine and they taste good with a tuna salad or perhaps some deviled eggs. So add some of these into your rotation to help protect your cardiovascular system as a whole. And lastly for this section of the video I'd like to share with you some additional foods that also have anti-clotting properties. We have garlic, star anise, wild salmon, tomatoes, bok choy, fennel, turmeric and walnuts. How to dissolve blood clots As I previously mentioned our bodies are constantly making tiny clots in our blood vessels and breaking them down again all day long. However, as you get older, you become less mobile, become overweight or you have some type of medical condition, you get a higher risk of blood clots not dissolving as they should be. So in addition to eating the foods that we've talked about today, there are also some other steps that you can take to help dissolve them. So let's take a look at these. Firstly, it's important to keep moving your body. Take a gentle daily walk to keep the blood flowing properly through your body reducing the risk of developing harmful blood clots. If you're sitting down for a long period of time such as on a plane or a train, use compression socks to prevent blood clots in the legs. Next you should avoid eating foods that have been cooked in processed vegetable or seed oils. Canola, cottonseed, rapeseed, corn, non-extra virgin olive oil, margarine and soy oils can form these sticky proteins in your blood which raise the risk of forming blood clots. So avoid fast food as much as you can and cook your own healthy meals at home using some raw virgin coconut oil, avocado oil or the extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. You may also take a supplement called serapeptase. Serapeptase is an enzyme made from silkworms which helps to dissolve blood clots in your body in the same way that it would a cocoon when it's metamorphosizing. You can take this in the form of a daily supplement to help keep your blood clots at bay. It's also important to stop smoking or even vaping. Smoking depletes vitamin C and damages the lining of your arteries and veins, raising the risk of embolisms and blood clots. So try your very best to quit and consider using a nicotine patch to help wean yourself off the cigarettes or vape devices. You could also consider taking rhodiola if you suffer from stress. Rhodiola is an adaptogenic herb which helps your body adapt to stress, reducing the risk of high blood pressure, heart disease and blood clots. And I also recommend following a low carbohydrate diet. If you're overweight, you have diabetes or you suffer from poor circulation, following a low carbohydrate diet such as the ketogenic diet is an excellent option for you. There are also additional supplements and nutrients that you can take to help break down blood clots naturally. If you'd like to learn about these, watch the video that I've put on your screen now for more information. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video today and as always I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.